is one of those videos that I'm making as another one of my videos is processing. So, um, as you can see in the background there, probably take about two hours for it to process. So, you know, I'm making a video that doesn't require I use a video editor. So, anyway, um, when I got up today, I saw Thunderfoot's video about uh, rape laws in the UK. And at first I was really angry. Really angry. And I was, <laughs> I was even considering things like, oh, well, you know, maybe I should uh, get rid of uh, that I'm bisexual and just forget about the whole thing thinking that this same sort of thing would come to the United States and blah 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 blah. And then I sat there going, well, maybe I should look this law up, because th this, this just doesn't seem like this could be right. And I <laughs> was sitting on the john, <laughs> looking at different websites in relation to this, these, these new laws. And I wasn't actually seeing anything that represented what Thunderfoot was saying was happening. I went, well, this doesn't quite match up. And uh, just a bit ago, I saw Noel Plum's video in relation to these laws. I'm like, okay, all right. So I'm not the only one that's going, okay, this doesn't seem quite right. And it got me thinking about how easy it is to give into the hype about something. You know? I actually lost quite a bit of respect for Thunderfoot for making that video. Um, and it showed me a little bit more about why people don't like him. Why a number of feminists really, really can't stand him. Because if he does this to... to uh, he doesn't even really look that much into a law that gets passed. And he's going to say this stuff about it. Um, how much more stuff is he going to do that on? And I was thinking about a lot of the stuff that he said about Anita Sarkeesian and uh, Rebecca Watson and a number of others. You know, and if, if he got anyone as pissed as I was after seeing his video about what I thought had happened in the UK, um... I can understand why people would say, well, he's generating hate towards Anita Sarkeesian. Now, the thing is, for myself, you know, I'm not nearly as attached to gaming as a number of other people. Okay, some of it's because I, I can't afford games. I, I can't afford that shit, you know. I end up... Uh, I mean, there's... I've, I obviously have some equipment that, that cost a bit. But it's nothing compared to how much I would be spending if I was massively into gaming. I mean, people put thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into games. Into just getting games. You know, they, they put a lot into this stuff. And... You know, if you revolve your life around something and it's being threatened... Um, yeah, it's understandable why some people would get really, 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 really pissed off. So, now I don't think someone should be trying to do to Thunderfoot what, you know, like Laughing Witch and some of the other feminists are, are doing to, towards him, but, um, I can understand why they would be angry at his misrepresentations of certain things. So... And this isn't to say that uh, Anita Sarkeesian is some sort of decent person, because I think she is a scam artist. I think a lot of really 
negative things about her. Um, but some of the things that people say about her, about what her message is in her videos about uh, video games, aren't exactly true. A lot of this stuff she hasn't actually said. Now, some people are mainly pissed off because uh, she's critiquing video games but doesn't really play them that much and she doesn't like violent video games. And so why is she judging video games? Because most video games have some sort of violence in them in general. Especially the really popular ones. Um, yeah, I can understand uh, why people would be pissy about that, but I mean, what's wrong with someone who doesn't like violent video games judging video games? I'm not that much into violent video games myself, but I do get into some of... I, I like... It's not the violence that I like, it's not the realism in the violence that I like, I just like the competition in games. I mean, if there was a game that was like Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, but, you know, you... It wasn't like someone got sh a person got shot. If it was just robots or something, I, I, it'd be fine with me. It's it's mainly the competitive part about the game. It's the skill that you have to have in the keyboard and mouse. It's the, you know, that sort of thing in it, you know. But some people they really really get into the oh look how violent look how real this is. I mean, of course not that, not Half Life Two Deathmatch. It's not really that real. But a lot of these newer games, that's what people focus on and. You know, to each their own, but that doesn't mean everyone has to folk, has to like the same things about games. It also doesn't mean that, you know, someone who isn't into violent games, oh, they're not a real gamer. Oh, well, fuck you, you know? A lot of my favorite games are old, I mean old school, not even 3D stuff, you know? I still like a lot of the stuff that I can play on MAME, um, but I have gotten a little bored with that stuff because I've, I've done everything with those games over the years that I could possibly do. You know, I can't think of any, I mean what I like to do on those old games as I've talked about in the past is I like to use the uh, cheat engine that came with older versions of MAME to find things in games that they didn't really want you to see. Um, you know, I mean, tons of stuff. I mean, easy, easy ways of talking about it. Okay, if there are three weapons in the game, what does it do when you go to the memory location of a fourth weapon? Sometimes you find something, sometimes you don't. Sometimes, uh, uh, yes, Amish candy bars, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you feel like a, making a quilt. But, um, sometimes you find some interesting stuff, sometimes it just crashes. But it's always, it always keeps it interesting. Well, I've done so much with so many of those games over the years that I've, I've, I'm now kind of bored with it. So, gaming isn't nearly as much of a part of my life as it used to be. And even if I had tons of money, I don't know whether or not it would be a huge part of my life at that point either. And some of that's because so many of the games are focused on violence. And the games that have the kind of control that I like are focused on violence. Um, and as I've said too, they're, from everything that I've seen, I don't see really that many new ideas uh, coming out there for games. It just seems like you're trying to refine game styles that have already been established, you know, at least 15 years ago. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just rambling right now. Um, I'm really rambling. This this is way off subject for what I originally made this video about. Um, Thunderfoot. It 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 it. <laughs> I know not to put that much trust in the stuff that Thunderfoot says anymore. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to just judge him as, as, as spewing bullshit, but I'm going to be a lot more cautious of what he says now. 
Um, because as I said in the beginning of this video, if he if he's that wrong about about these laws and about what it means and what, what the ramifications are, then and, and he's making it sound like he's some sort of expert on the shit, and then it's shown that he doesn't know shit about it. You know, it, it could be the same thing on a number of other issues. Just because he's a, a good scientist doesn't mean that he's going to be good at other things. I mean, just look at Ben Carson. Ben Carson has done, what, brain surgery? <laughs> you know, uh, 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 and yet he's a fucking blundering idiot everywhere else. So, you know, I see the grains down in Africa, you know. Uh, <laughs> so, you know... It, I've got to take Thunderfoot with a grain of sand in, in some things because, you know, those grainy pyramids and, hi, I'm Grainy Smurf. Catch you later. <laughs>